I gotta say, I was perfectly content with all the Rogue One stuff we were getting with, you know, the toys, the first two trailers, and Card Trader, all that stuff. But if you wanna give me a third trailer, open up the door, it's Will! So, we open up with this third trailer, and like I said, I was completely fine with this. We get more backstory on Jyn Erso. We open up with her and her father. Uh, he's saying, hey, whatever I do, I do it to protect you or something of that sort. I'm paraphrasing here. It has a pretty decent, like, fun-sized British touch. She's like, okay, father, I understand, blah, blah, blah. And she, like, wakes up. Like, this stuff is still haunting her. Like, what happened? Did the Imperials kill her mother by chance? And that, that's the reason he's going. Like, he's like, hey, like, they're going to kill my daughter if I don't do this. Like, I need to go help them. Because it turns out Ben Mendelsohn or... I forget the actor's name, but that guy who plays Hannibal and who's going to be in Doctor Strange helps build the Death Star. So he's crucial in the building of it. We also get Krennic. Like apparently they might have like a tight like knit family relationship with each other. Like maybe Krennic and uh, uh, Mr. Urso. That's what, that's what I'll call him. Uh, I think it's Galen. Galen Urso. I'll put the correction up here if I'm wrong. But um, I believe they might have even been rivals or actually went together at the Imperial Academy before like he went off. I'm not sure we'll have to see in the movie. Like, that's just some of my theories. That's why I'm doing this. We like to speculate. Because that's probably the funnest time with, between Star Wars movies. All the speculation. And it's like, oh. Because everybody's going like, oh, Jyn Erso's probably Ray's mom. Or this or that. Or we're going to see Veda. He's going to mess crap up. And like I said, people are, have still been texting me that they still think like this is a sequel to Force Awakens. Which, it's a prequel technically. But, nah. Nothing to Force Awakens. This takes place right before uh, Episode 4. They got the Death Star plans. I would be remiss not to bring this up. They released the poster to tease us just a tad bit before the trailer came out, the day before. It, it reminds me of some of the old Star Wars posters, you know, the ones that had like Vader in the background. I wasn't alive around that time, obviously, but like when I would rent them from the local video store, they would always have like Vader's like silhouette in the background or very prominently in Return of the Jedi. He's just sitting in the background, just like being the dark, looming presence. And they go back to basics and put it back in the back of the Death Star. Like, like if you blink, you'll miss it. Like, he's right there. It's like, ah, it's so cool. And also, uh, Jyn Erso, there's, like, some, like, lights on her face. Like, that's obviously the Death Star plans because the, the Death Star's right there. And it kind of, like, silhouettes to her. Like, it, it's pretty cool. I really like it. Um, I, I like, like, this crew. I can't wait to see more of them. Uh, especially, I believe it's Churrit or just the blind guy who believes in the J way of the Jedi. I can't wait to see him whoop some butt because... He's been doing it all throughout these trailers, and we see even more of it in this one. Uh, Bodhi, his little friend with, with like the heavy guns, like he seems like he's gonna be cool. There was another moment, like if you blink, you'll miss it. I believe it might be on Jeddah. That's a planet that's pretty like on the head because like Jedi, Jeddah, la da da da. I thought it was a mountain, but like on like fifth or sixth watch, I'm like, wait, that's a that's a light that lightsaber. That's a oh my god, that's a statue in the dirt. What the like. That's so nuts. Maybe that was like an old Jedi temple from the Old Republic. Or maybe the Rebels went there at some point from uh, Star Wars Rebels. That's another thing too. Will the Rebels or the Rogue One characters cross over in the cartoon or this? I'm not sure. It would just be crazy awesome if like, we got like a uh, CGI, like Ahsoka, like looking lifelike and awesome, like helping... Or maybe a blind cannon with a mask on. Because you could probably technically get away with that. Like, you just put a mask on, like, a tall, awesome, like, ripped body double. Like, that would be an awesome cannon. Or maybe, like, Ezra's evil or something like that. We don't know. Because we don't know what Rebels is going or Rogue One at this point. But that would be just really cool. Or maybe even Thrawn. Thrawn could be, like, reporting to Krennic or vice versa. Something of that sort would just be really awesome. Uh, I doubt we see it. But a guy can dream. Uh, we also see Saw Gerrera, that's Forrest Whitaker's character. I think he's taken a similar path as Darth Vader. Maybe, like, this is, like, a redemption story for him. Maybe, like, he's, like, an asshole. He doesn't want to help anyone anymore. Like, he's he went with the Republic, and then he got burnt when the Republic turned into the Empire. Because, if you remember, Saw Gerrera is in Clone Wars. Uh, Anakin and Ahsoka, like, and Obi-Wan train his planet, or at least the village in, on this planet, to fight. So they're not, like, being taken over by the Separatists. And... Like, he seems to be going through a similar fate as Anakin. Like, he's getting robotic parts. He, he's, he's, he is not in good shape. I don't think he's making out at the end of this movie. What else? What else am I missing, guys? Uh, besides me almost looking like uh, Mr. Urso in this jacket. Seriously, with all the blue and gray here, you would think I was an Imperial. <laughs> uh, but we also got Vader in this, and they're like quick little flashes, and there's no talking or him whooping ass, which is fine. Save that for the movie. Good on you, Disney and uh, Star Wars and Lucasfilm. I love it. No, we see it, like, he's climbing up there, there's, like, the fog or smoke from the ship, like, and he's just, like, walking, like, really fast, like, 
he's thinking like, oh, like you motherfuckers, like I can't wait to mess shit up or like, oh, what is this? Who got the plans? Like he, he looks like he's pissed. Like I do not want to get choked by him or run into him on that day. But yeah, that's about all I got right now, guys. Um, like I said, I was content with the other trailer, but I watched this anyway, and and I'm excited. I mean, I've got all kinds of Star Wars toys. And speaking of, would you guys love to see my Star Wars toys or like for me to unbox them like in a separate video? I could show you my collection, etc. Let me know in the comments below or share this, give it a few likes. We'll say if this gets to 50 likes and I get 50 subscribers before Rogue One comes out. All right, now I'm sitting at 63, so that would be, oh. 113 I believe uh, let's go ahead and I will do like a toy unboxing or something of that sort just to show you my collection how's that sound uh, but that's about it for me guys uh, may the force be with you and as always guys when there's a will there's a way thanks for watching <laughs>